<laughs> oh, <clears throat> that one. Now I have some good news and some bad news. Officially, the metaverse is a brilliant cost-saving platform. Unofficially, it is a veritable black hole of expenditures. Why didn't you just sell the school buildings? <laughs> no, 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 just keep it right here. Thank you. <clears throat> Interesting idea, Rose, but we need those buildings for all the new administrator offices. <laughs> you don't expect me to have my office next to the meta gym. <laughs> Gross. But the school is digital now. If anything, I think we already have too many administrators. <gasps> Rose, there is no such thing as too many administrators. New normal. Rose, God is a genius. He solved our budget problem. How? Creating more money. Oh, God. No, the Fed. But close. You must try this eclair. It's <laughs> heavenly. Oh. The school was in real financial trouble. So we created the new Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Administration Department. 100 new salary positions, full paid benefits, and that still didn't fix things. But, Gov solved the problem with his genius idea. Govbucks. Govbucks? Govbucks. Here, you must try one of these guava mascarpone Danish. They're transcendental. It's actually a variation of what our government does in the moment of crisis. Just print money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he issued digital Govbucks in the metaverse, and he mandated that they're equal in value to the U.S. dollar. And redeemable. Everywhere! How much? Uh, I think like 10 trillion. Huh? I mean, it doesn't really matter how much, right? More money is always better. How about inflation? What are you, Tucker Carlson? That word is a conservative dog whistle. More isn't always better, you guys. If we ate pastries every morning, we would be all fat. Are you body shaming me? No, no, of course not, Chad. Come on. I'm just saying, like, you can't print money every time you need something. You have to be productive, like going to the gym and work out to earn it. I feel body shame. So you must be body shaming me. No. If Rose does not want to benefit from Gov's bucks, she can stay right here with her crappy bagels alone. Come on, Chad. Come on, you guys. Don't do this. I've had enough. Uh, oh. Me too. Thanks to this god bug stimulus, my grocery bill skyrocketed. I have to give up my gym membership. You okay, Jerry? Oh. Do, I, do I look okay, Rose? My wife told me I had to start riding a bike to work. I own car dealerships, Rose. So you're riding the bike because of your health? Yeah. No, gas prices, gas prices rose. Me, on a bike, in this heat, I might die. And right now, I'd welcome that sweet release. Better get used to the heat, Jerry. Where gas prices go, air conditioning costs follow. Yeah! You make it sound like doomsday. No. God only did this because the school system needs the money, besides. It can't be that bad. Hi, Salvador. Hi, Rose. One sec. I've got some bad news. I'm afraid I have to raise the rent next month. You know what? I guess I'm not even surprised. I don't mind paying my fair share. How much is it? $1,000. A thousand dollars? What? That's not fair. You know what else isn't fair? Lumber, drywall, 
concrete HVAC parts? I'm doing the service calls too because subcontractor rates are through the roof. Okay, okay. I don't know how, but I'll find the money. Okay, Rose. I'm sorry. No, my precious. Archie, I'm not gonna let you become an overweight digital zombie. You're gonna help me cut our costs so you can understand the actual meaning of money. Right here, right now, in the real world. The metaverse is the real world. Where scarcity has finally been defeated. This world is just an illusion. <sighs> if I buy fans, we can cut back on air conditioning and that'll save big on our electric bill. Mom. Wait, if I cut out Starbucks, that'll give us $150. Mom, listen. Archie, please, we need to focus on cutting costs. If we switch from three-ply toilet paper to old newspapers, we can save $50 a month. What's hedge? But this isn't, what are we? Henry and I call it Hacktopia. But Gov, he doesn't know about it yet. Anyway, the reason I brought you here is because Henry and I created our own currency, Hedgecoin. Archie, you can't just print money. We aren't. Hedgecoin is a digital currency with algorithmically constrained supply. Inflation is impossible and all transactions are publicly recorded. What does that mean? that you could still use three-ply toilet paper. When golf bucks drive prices up, Hedgecoin hedges against inflation, getting more valuable. I don't understand. Did you two learn how to do this in school? Nah, they don't teach this in school, Mom. Mom, you'd be so proud. We broke into the Forbidden Courses library. Wait, what? I'll show you. I don't know whether to send you to your room or to hug you, Archie. Go. Okay. Anomalous. You wanted to see me, Gov? Rose, it's come to my attention that some students have been illegally messing with Metaverse code. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Is that what you asked me here to talk about? Why else would I have summoned you? I don't know. Maybe to tell me how you plan to fix the rampant inflation caused by your GovBucks stimulus? Like my rent going up $1,000 a month? You'll have to talk to Vladimir Putin about your rent. He's the one who caused inflation. So tell me, does the word hacktopia mean anything to you? Hmm, maybe Vladimir Putin is the one who messed with your code. Those Russian hackers are devious. Spoken like a true patriot. I've frozen the hedge coins, but the creators remain anomalous. Do you mean anonymous? Sure, whatever. Anyways, you're in luck. I may have a solution to your rent problem. I've developed a new program to combat youth vitamin D deficiencies. Wow, which has nothing to do with banning in-person school and making the kids sit on headsets all day. Obviously not. 
Putin again? Ooh, possibly. My point is, is that I'm willing to hire you and add 1,000 GovBucks to your monthly salary in exchange for your work on this important new initiative. <sighs> what do you need me to do? Our special thanks to Draper University Foundation, creating entrepreneurial heroes through proactive team-based training.